welcome to episode three of the Kitchen Room Box. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build a false window or window frame fitted with acetate. So let's get started. So the backboard in my room box is just 1.5 millimeters thick. So I want to build a frame that actually sits on the inside of the room. And for that, I'm going to be using three millimeter strip, one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to build the frame so it overlaps the window opening by 1.5 millimeters or 1 16th of an inch. So all the way around, if you imagine, there'll be a 1.5 millimeter border on the inside. I'll then have a 1.5 millimeter lip on the other side, which I can then stick the acetate against. And the reason I want to do it like that is so that I've got a flat back, which can then be attached flat to a wall. If you were to build it so that the window protrudes at the back, then you're not going to be able to attach it to a wall. But that may work for you because you may just want to stand it on a shelf. Now, if you've got a thicker panel in your room box, then you could use a strip that would sit on the inside of your window. So measure that depth there and then choose a suitable strip. So you can still follow the same technique that I'm going to be using, but your sizing will just be different. So what I've done is I, I've measured the opening of the window and my window cutout is 75.5 millimeters square. So each edge is 75.5 millimeters, which is just under three inches. So I need to cut my sides so that I've got an extra three millimeters on top of that, which is 1.5 millimeters at each end. So top and bottom, and that's then my overlap. If you were doing that on the inside, then you would just cut your strips to fit. But it will become a lot clearer as we go along. So what I've done here in my notebook is a, a very sort of rough drawing of the window. So I need, I want it to look like there's two windows. So I'll be making them in two sections. So I've got my outer strips here. I then halved the width of the window, took off my strip sizes, and that's what my little internal pane divides will be. Now you don't have to have the window like this if you wanted just to have one pane divide across the center. So you've got sort of like a crisscross window, you can do it like that. But this technique I'm going to show you is so simple, it will be really easy to design and build your own window. Okay, so let's get started. So I've cut my strips and I just thought this would make it easier to see how to measure. So if you see, I've gone to the height of the window opening and then I've added 1.5 millimeters onto each end and I've done that with all four vertical pieces. I just lay those on there like that and then once you've got the vertical pieces cut you can just measure really what's left. So that's the inside edges of your window and then I've done the same with these so as long as these sit at the bottom of your vertical strips you'll know that you've got 1.5 millimeters overhanging and that will go up there like that. It's easier just to take your internal window measurement and then take off your the width of your strips and divide what's left by two. And in my case, that's 33 millimeters. So I've cut eight pieces to that width and they'll be the top and bottom of the window frames like that. And obviously these won't balance until they're all glued together and then I'll have two panes in each window like that. And you want to measure so that you've got equal amounts in there. So again, measure the height of your strip, take off the pieces that you're adding in. So in this case, that would be 12 millimeters and then divide that by three and that will be the height of each of your individual panes. Okay, so now I'm ready to start gluing these together. So before I begin gluing, I want to mark up my vertical frame pieces for placement of the slats. So the top and bottom ones I know will be level with the top and bottom of those outer frames. So it's these central ones that I need to make pencil marks for. So I'll just take my first vertical frame, get those out of the way. So if I put my rule there and I know that I'll have three millimeters at the top. So I'll put a line there and three millimeters at the bottom. There like that. 
So this central bit, I then need to take off the width of my two frame pieces that will be in the centre there. So that's six millimetres. So that leaves 66 millimetres divided by the three panes that I'll have in there is 22 millimetres. So my first one will be 22. So the strip will sit below there. I'll do the mark at the bottom as well. And then from the bottom of that one will be 22 again. Again, I'll do the next pencil mark. 22 and that's the width of the strip. So then I've got three equal panes on there. So I'll now copy those pencil marks onto each of my long strips and then we can start gluing them together. So begin by applying glue to each end of each of your horizontal strips in your first window and just pop them back down like that. Attach the first one so you're flush at the top of your left hand strip like that, nice straight edge along there and then push in the next ones going between your pencil lines there and then bring in your remaining strip and bottom lined up and then use your pencil marks to make sure your horizontal strips are staying straight and that will square square it all off before you sort of press it together just make everything make sure everything's in the right place and then give it a good press but be careful as you're doing that because sometimes it can just all, all sort of ping apart Make sure it's all flat against your work surface as well. And then you can just very carefully slide that along your work surface and that can be left to dry. Once you've allowed enough time for the glue to dry, erase or sand away your pencil lines. These pieces are now ready for paint and I'm going to use the white paint that I used for the ceiling of my kitchen room box. To make painting easier, I've secured the frames to a piece of card. And because I'm gonna be having my room box against a wall, the backs of them don't need to be done. But if you're doing that, do make sure that you get into all of the little areas inside and along the edges, which obviously will be seen from inside the kitchen room box. So that's one coat of paint on the frames and whilst that's drying I'm going to cut the acetate for the window. So a little tip for cutting the acetate, measure the window opening and cut a little template. You can then just check that that fits nicely into place and then tape the template to a straight edge or two straight edges of your acetate. Use masking tape to do that. and then you can cut the acetate to size, just using normal scissors. Okay, so the paint is now dry, so I'm going to glue these two together and then glue them into place around the window opening. So let's just put a bit of glue down the first strip. Glue those together, making sure you've got a flush top and bottom edge. Gently press them together. Just carefully sort of slide that along your work surface and that can be left to dry for a moment. Okay, that's now dry, so I'm going to turn that over. Like that. So 
So just lay that over the opening, leaving the overhang all the way around. And I'm just making sure that I've got the same amount overhanging around each edge. Press that into place and then you can lay the ring box back down and give it a good firm press. Don't press in the centre of the window, but just press around the edges there. And again, that can be left to dry. My window frame has now dried firmly into place, so I'm ready to attach the acetate. And to do that, I'm going to use deluxe materials, glue and glaze. And this is ideal for attaching acetate and other plastics. It dries clear and it doesn't mark the acetate. Now, my nozzle is a bit bunged up at the moment, so I've just dispensed a bit onto a piece of card, as I normally do, and I'm going to apply it with a cocktail stick. And you really do only need a small amount of this. So a little goes a long way. Like that. So bring in your acetate. And I always just rub it between my fingers just to get rid of any dust that's settled on there. And then drop that into place. So press it gently against your frame. And don't worry if any glue is going onto the acetate at the front because we can remove that with a cocktail stick. And once it starts to dry, it dries almost um, like rubber. So you can sort of just peel that off. So I'm just getting these bits off the back. So I'm just giving that an extra press. Pressing all of the pane pieces against the acetate. And that can now be left to dry. Once your acetate has dried fully into place, use a cocktail stick to clean away any smears. And if it's a little bit dusty, you can just use a little bit of glass cleaner or even just a wet cloth just to clean that off. Now I'm waiting for some handles to arrive. So we'll fit those in a later episode and we'll also do a little backdrop for our window as well. But that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.